Welcome, Scorpio, to your love reading for mid-November. Let's see what is coming in for you guys. We do have the Six of Cups, so we do have a strong soulmate energy, a strong connection. Um, could be from the past. We do have a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, with this King of Cups, I do feel like there's somebody in the past that may not have had your best interest. Could be another water sign for some or someone just carrying this energy, okay? Let's see. Yeah, we do have the Nine of Cups, something to where it feels like a wish or felt like a wish fulfillment or something that you're desiring or someone desiring you at this time. But let's see. We do have the Queen of Rings energy, which I love this energy because it is stating that you are grounding yourself, you're a nurturing, loving, um, hardworking um, person here. And then we do have the Shadow in Reverse. So you could be releasing this water sign. Doesn't have to be a water sign again. It could be that energy that they're carrying, which is not a very good energy. Okay, I'll let you know what this sign means if you don't know already. Then we have the Spirit of Cups. So yeah, it does feel like a very strong connection that someone feels for you, but there's like there's like a feeling of like taking, you know, 10 steps forward and then like a bunch of steps back or two steps forward and like five steps back, if I said that right. And I feel it's because this person is operating from a shadow part of them, which unfortunately is causing this um, person to be the King of Cups. Now with this King of Cups, it is very emotionally manipulative this person plays on people's emotions so i do feel like you could be releasing a very toxic energy i do see that this person wants to advance but there's something stuck okay they do desire you but there is something that feels a bit dark like attached to them like they could have secrets or they could be operating you know with um they could have things like uh, attached to them like maybe they have addictions or um, unhealthy habits in some way or doing things and you know sneaking around and something but there's something that they're using this energy which is to manipulate okay to I don't feel like this person you know I just feel like they care about you they desire you they like you're like their wish and I feel like you feel the same way but there's just like a big blockage it could be another person however but I just feel like this person is not being as genuine um, as you would like Okay, because I feel a lot of you guys probably already start started feeling this with this person. Yeah, Ace of Cups. So there is something new, a new beginning here. We do have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have the Six of um, Wands in reverse, which does, does represent not seeing eye to eye with an energy. Okay, so it's feeling like a challenge. There's some self-doubt. There could be some comparing too, okay? Um, but feeling of like this relationship is just stuck at this time. Um, we do have the Eight of Cups, but still hard to walk away. We do have the Six of Cups again here on their mind. Someone is definitely stuck on you here, okay? And it's like they're reminiscing about the past. And usually with the Six of Cups, it's like about the good memories or something that has to do with their emotions. Um, and I feel like that's what's sparking up this person thinking about you with the Nine of Cups. And with the Ten of Cups, they're having like some type of family struggle or struggles within their happy, happy um, happiness or within their home or family. But they're, I feel like they're just feeling very shattered at this time. We're going to clarify. With the Three of Cups, this also could represent somebody wanting to come together, wanting unity um with you yeah but in the outcome it's showing a relationship too so this is about your home your family this could be the stability within your finances uh but let's go ahead and see we do have a message coming in and there is some type of temporary um setback here but the sun is the most beautiful card anyways so regardless scorpio you have a lot of positivity coming your way, okay? Like so much coming in. Now I'm kind of curious about this King of Wands because we have two energies here. So this could be a new love, um, but there is some type of an emotional offer after something else feels like there's a temporary like blockage here. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify. I am seeing um, that there is clashing and still somebody stuck in the past here and stuck on you, still desiring you. and. In the mutual energy, it's still hard to walk away, possibly going in and out with an energy for some. But let's see this King of Wands. 
and get more on this king of wands okay so this could be the energy that this person is carrying as a non-committal okay um emotionally un unavailable because the king of wands can be very attractive yes they could be bold and take action but it's like a king of wands that does not want like that is uncommittal um and i feel like they could be a bit foolish or a procrastinator here I feel like you guys may be focusing your energy on something else, okay? Because we do have new love coming in your energy. Yeah, it's like you're releasing something. You're taking a break from something here that is just not moving at this time. You could be freeing yourself and saying no. Because I do see that somebody is wanting to come in, but they're kind of wanting things, it's like to go their way. It's like what benefits them. And I feel you could be more committed to your work or to yourself and healing and going after other opportunities but i do feel like you do you are um very grounded here and focusing on other things so that's wonderful really good actually the six of uh, wands energy yeah the ace of wands is coming in so there's definitely somebody wanting to come in possibly somebody that you have like Somebody wants to ignite something again, okay? Have a new beginning with you, like wanting to grow in this situation, or this could be more of chemistry. Um, <laughs> but I feel like there's just a big block to where there's too much clashing. It's like things could be going in circles or good for a little bit and then, you know. But there is a six of cups coming up three times, so definitely a strong past energy here, okay? We do have nostalgia going on. Um, let's see what the six of cups is, because I feel it's them. They're the ones, yep. Now, I feel with this six of cups, they are looking at you as, are thinking of you of how attractive you are. I feel like this person is desiring you in a lusty way. Okay, yes, there is a lot of emotions involved too, like, because emotionally, they also could be a drinker too, you know, maybe having those thinking of you while they're drinking or a drunk text or something. I don't know why I'm getting that. I just felt it right now. But this queen of wands is that they find you so attractive. It doesn't matter who this person is, uh, who this person is with, okay, or if they moved on or dating anyone, they f look at you as like the most you know, gorgeous person that they've ever met um, and how you carry yourself and how you're so independent, how you can, you know, you're very determined. They know that's what you are. That's what they're so attracted. But I feel like this person, maybe something is going on with them for them to be the king of cups and being uncommittal. It could be immaturity, but we're going to get more into it because I don't really see anything sneaky as of right now, but the king of cups in reverse. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. This person can have other options also. I feel like this person is very unhappy. So I can feel like the reason why that this can't go anywhere is because of another energy involved. Okay, that's for some. Yeah, they can't move on. I don't know who this is, Scorpio. But yeah, the world, they're not closing out this chapter. They don't want to close out this chapter. I feel like for you, though, it's like you are still opening up your heart to like with other things, right? Or, or about to. I feel you're more focused on yourself and committing to your healing, to your self-love, to your self-worth. And whatever that may be, it's going to grow beautifully here in your energy. This person, I feel, can, you know, try to come in but they're being careless. They're not really thinking about other people. They're going off of just like how amazing you are and how much they're desiring you. But it's like they're coming up as poor judgment. So yes, it's very flattering that this person wants to come to you. I don't know who I'm talking to, but this is what I'm getting. It's flattering that this person wants to come to you, but I don't, I feel like there's just no direction with them. You know, there's no like, there's really no, what's that word? It's like short term satisfaction. And I don't feel like this person's making any moves either to have long term. So, with this Four of Wands energy, we do have the Three of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. 
So you guys could be going into a whole new separation here. I mean, a whole new separation. Whoa, sorry. A whole new connection here. You are coming up as the Empress. Okay, I love it. There is an energy that wants to collaborate. This is about relationships. There is about a connection here, and it's very strong. Somebody is looking at you as the Empress. I feel like you may be stuck in between two energies but letting go and maybe another one coming in but i feel like you're the god you're operating from goddess energy because your love's very powerful you could create so much with your love that you give okay and it does look like in the outcome even though there's something coming in fast there is an energy here that looks very promising that is stable committed okay and then there's another energy that is you know, resistant to change and repeating old patterns. So I feel like somebody may be a bit jealous that you may have be meeting somebody else, but they're not doing anything about it. That's what it looks like and feels like here. Um, but yeah, you, you guys are coming up very beautiful in this reading. I am going to clarify, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man, this page of cups. Now somebody is feeling some painful ending here as you may be moving on in feeling unfulfilled from a situation and losing faith. Somebody's manifesting and feels like they wanna offer you something, okay? Yeah. So let's get the hidden truths and see what this person has to say to you here, Scorpio. I wonder how you feel. I have trouble with intimacy, okay. I'm recovering. And I don't know why this happened. Well, they're coming up uncommittal. You inspire me. Yeah, that's how they look at you. They look at you as just like a huge missed opportunity here, you guys. Um, whoa, hello. Oh my gosh, and we have soulmate coming in with that two of cups and the outcome. So I believe, yeah, because you're manifesting. Even if you're not manifesting and going out there and looking for love, there's something here. Just by you, by operating that way, you're automatically gonna be attracting people. Okay, I feel like, but there is like a, a warning I like to give when the Empress does come out. Just remember, your love is gold, okay? So that is to be protected and to give to people who deserve it because some everybody wants the Empress's love. It's very fulfilling, <laughs> it's refreshing, it's so magnetic, but not everybody deserves access to that. Okay, do I so I do feel you are manifesting a soulmate um, here as you're letting go of someone else. It says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. And it says manifesting miracles. Your your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and to continue to follow its guidance. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys for the bonus and single readings coming up very soon. God bless.